Update 1.6 for World of Tanks is just around the corner. It brings revamped conditions for the personal missions of two campaigns, the improved customization system, new decals, and the deactivation of team damage. And the main feature of this update is the new branch of British light tanks. Let's go! Update 1.6 introduces a branch of high-tier British light tanks. There are four vehicles. These light tanks will follow on from the Cromwell, the Tier 6 medium tank. The British Quartet aims to cover the gameplay styles of passive scouting and fire support, and the vehicles have common distinctive features, small size and good concealment. The light tanks start with the GSR-3301 Setter. It's small, stealthy, and has good dynamics. This vehicle is a perfect introduction to the British Scout branch, but it's more of a transitional tank between the medium and light tanks. The situation is more interesting at Tier 8. The vehicle here is the LHM-TV. Basically, it's a fast, powerful, and dangerous version of its predecessor. The concealment is just as good, there's almost no armor, and the gun does the job. The damage per shot is 230, the rate of fire is 6 shots per minute, and the armor penetration with a standard shell is 226 millimeters. No other Tier 8 light tank can do this. Next in the line is the GSOR-3301 AVRFS. Like its predecessors, this tank is an excellent scout. Although all its characteristics suggest support, this little guy can hit back. The crown of the branch is the Tier 10 Manticore light tank, a monster with the body of a light tank and the gun of at least a heavy tank that doesn't seem to have any complexes. Its characteristics logically continue the branch and meet the expectations of a Tier 10 vehicle. Good dynamics, a damage per shot of 390, excellent concealment, and good view range. Here are the strengths of this Brit. It was just made for passive scouting and striking the enemy stealthily. You can already try and rate the British light tanks. Personal missions for artillery were changed with Update 1.6. The hardest missions requiring stuns in the long-awaited backup and second front campaigns became easier. Also, changes were made to the missions for the Object 279E operation. The conditions of some missions became simpler. Some other missions were changed completely. But what's important is that the path towards the desired four-track monster is now easier. Big changes were made to the customization system. Previously, the process of applying decals wasn't intuitive enough. That's why we improved it. Putting customization elements on your vehicles is now more convenient, clearer, and simpler. New font options were added for tactical numbers, along with new square decals. Also, there's a completely new decal type, rectangular decals. Many of you have already appreciated them on the common test server, and now it's time to decorate your tanks on the main server. Team damage was disabled in update 1.6. This new feature was tested in ranked battles and frontline, and also on the common test server. Now it's time to turn off team damage in random battles. No more accidental or intentional friendly fire and ramming damage. Now you can focus on your opponents. That's all for now. Enter the game and try the new British tanks and other new features. Good luck on the battlefield.